Hello everyone, Jonathan Rochandor here, and there is a bug right now with version 1.5. I'm going to show you guys a quick workaround for that, as well as two ways to just fix it until a patch comes out. Now, first thing you want to do is, if you are on Windows 7, go to Start and Computer. Hang on, let me bring this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, once I can move my taskbar again. <laughs> okay. Click on Start and go to Computer. If you are on Windows 8, I believe you'll just click on your computer name and it'll bring up a... Actually, no, you just click on this little guy here and it brings up the Windows Explorer menu. But yeah, you go to my computer, and then get, well, your uh, primary drive, which for me is a C drive, Project Program Files x86, Steam, now we're going to go through Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then we're going to find Starpoint Gemini 2, which is right down here near the bottom. Uh, right there. Okay, this is the primary folder, the root directory for Starpoint. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is also where you find the log file. It's just right here, log. It's a text file. <laughs> so when they, uh, whenever your game crashes or something, this is the file you send in to the uh, developers. But let's get on to fixing this bug. So this is for Secrets of Ethereum users. I don't know if this happens for people that don't use Secrets of Ethereum, but the workaround is simple. First, you'll want to copy your weapons folder from the Secrets of Ethereum DLC folder. I'm sorry. Go to DLC, Secrets of Ethereum, SPG2, and just copy the weapons folder here. Now, I've already done this. So, it's going to tell me I'm overriding stuff, but for everyone else this will not happen. And just go to the, uh, do the same for Origins, go to Origins, SPG2, and then just paste the folder here. Now, you won't get this confirmation screen. This is just here for me because I, uh, I've already done this fix. Now, you'll have to do the same with the, uh, ships folder which you find under models so go to secrets of ethera spg2 um models and then just copy ships then you go into the origins spg2 models and then once again just paste it and again you will not get any of this confirmation stuff like i am because, again, I've already done this fix, so I'm just, like, overdoing it to show you guys how it's done. And this will allow you to play the, uh, play the game with all your mods. Now, if you don't want to go through all that hassle, you just want to get into the game, you're going to need to disable your mods. And obviously you can't do that because the game is crashing on load. There's two ways to fix this. First is to go to your mods folder, right-click on modlist dot mdb and edit it with any uh, text editor find any mod that is listed as active and change the one to zero that will disable the mod that's all you gotta do the order and everything else will be set up on its own just change all actives from one to zero and that will disable the mod and allow you to get into the game just fine. Finally, if you don't feel like changing that, you can go to Steam, hmm. go to your library, right click on Starpoint Gemini 2, Properties, Local Files, and then Verify the Integrity of Game Cache. This will replace three files, your configuration file, the mod DB file, or the mod list file, and the log file. This will by default disable your mods. So there you go. That's a quick workaround to how to fix this. They are working on a patch for this right now. It's just an issue with the way things are loading. 
Uh, hopefully, I don't know if this is happening to people without um, Secrets of Ethera. If it is, I'm sorry, I don't know how to fix it for you guys. Uh, I might be able to create a dummy folder that has all these files. Otherwise, I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. But hopefully this will help those of you that do have Secrets of Ethera and are trying to run mods and keep having the game crash on load. Alrighty then. I need to get back to doing some stuff myself now, so hope everyone finds this video helpful, and I'll talk to you all later.